Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the number one most effective way to kill a mole, and that's just one of these things, a scissor trap. So number two, you got to put it in the right spot. So don't look for a big cluster of hills that are in an area. You need to look for a run, a relatively straight line that's going from point A to point B, which is what we have here, where it's, it's not perfectly straight, but it kind of meanders back and forth. And so earlier today, I was out here mowing, rolled over this with path with my tires just to flatten the whole thing out. And when I had come back out here to um, blow off the swing set that's right behind us over here, it was already a fresh run again. And so I'm just going to set this trap. The way it works is this is spring loaded here. So you can see the springs here. You can see this little um, disc up top and then the two sets of scissors down below. Okay. So when you push down on this, it's going to open those scissors like that and they're going to set in place. So you want to set them right along the run this way. Okay. And so when a mole comes through there, through these scissors here, it's going to push the dirt up and into this disc and set it, spring it, and then those scissors will close and then you have your mole. So we're going to set it right in here. I've already worked this a little bit loose in this area here. What you want to do, get it nice and flat, tamp down the run all around it everywhere. Then you're just going to set it like that. Look, come on up here, bud. Take a look, show this trap up close. Don't get too close, but you can see that disc down there in the middle is just pressed down into the run. And so when a mole comes through, right through here, it's gonna push that dirt up, that disc, uh, spring the release there, and then pff, all that tension is gonna go right into the mole. All right, so we'll stay tuned. All right, so it's 4.51 right now. I set the trap at 4.15. I just got out of the shower, looked out the bedroom window, one of those three windows behind me there. Nothing. Finished getting dressed, looked out again. Boom. Trap set. So we're going to check it out. It's because you got to tear up the grass, though. Yeah, you got to tear up a little bit of grass, but you can see the whole run right here all the way down. So that's the kind of run you got to look for there. You can see it's a pretty long straightaway. That's kind of where I see it starting and working its way this way all the way to there and a little bit beyond so when i was mowing earlier uh, i mowed actually or i um, drove my lawnmower tires over this entire path and then 30 minutes 45 minutes later it was already actually i was out here um blowing blowing grass off of things and so right after i was done it had already come through again so i came out here flattened down this area set the trap and then, let's see, 4.51, was that 36 minutes later, the trap went off. So we're gonna pull it out here and see if it's a dry fire or if it's the real deal. You just kind of wiggle it out. Oh, dry fire. All right, well, just saw the trap go off. It's about 5.10, set the trap at 4.55. Could be a false alarm. I do get those sometimes because I try to set those traps just as light as they go. It kept popping up in one spot, so I moved it a little bit to another spot. So what do you we'll think, see. Luke? You think there's one in there? Probably. Why is that? All that dirt. Yeah, so what I think gives it away is the fact that we tamp down all the dirt on the runway, or all the trail, on mm -hmm. both sides of it. And what do you see? Yeah, all I that got, trail, yeah. Yeah, it bumped back up, and then boom, it stopped right there. You want to go ahead and pull it out? Sure. Wiggle a little, a little bit. There you go. Ooh, there there's is. our culprit right there. Still alive. Oof. All right, so went out and uh, got this mole earlier before we had to leave. And uh, it was still alive and kicking a little bit. So we gave it a little while. <laughs> hey, Rose. Hey, Rosie Pose. Thought we run out of light here, so I wanted to um, get up to it real quick. So these are the results you're going to get every time with one of these scissor traps, I'm telling you. If you put it in the right run, which is one of those longer, straighter runs versus if you see a big clump of runs going all over and little hills here and there, that's not the spot to be. If you see one of those areas and you see another area over here and you see one kind of meandering run going from point A to point B, that's a good spot right there. So I'm telling you, don't worry about any of those other gimmicks, the juicy fruit, the gummy worms, the whatever else you might hear. Those spike traps are worthless. These things are all you need. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Tractor Supply. You can get them 
a lot of different places. They're 35, 40 bucks, something like that. I'll put a link below to where I get mine on Amazon. I've got two of them. I have, this is the first time I've used it all year and we're in September now. So it's the first time I've had a mole in two years, which to me is a little bit disappointing because it's a little bit of urban hunting, you know, but great results every time with the scissor trap. That's the only thing you need. Find the long run, pat it down with your foot, wait for that run, the, the uh, mole to come back through again. That way you know it's an active run. As long as you know it's active, after that, you can just tamp it down a good foot area or so, and then set your scissor trap right in there, and all you got to do is wait. And again, you are going to get some dry fires, if you're, especially if you're setting them kind of light. Uh, you're going to get some dry fires, expect that. But I had a couple dry fires here, and then 15 minutes later after I set it the third time, I guess it was, boom, this is what happened. So anyway, I'll put the link below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe.